Hey, it's time now to get some grub. You know, I've been talking all morning about sushi on the river. It's sushi, and it's on the river. We're firing up the stove and making some sushi. Now, again, why are we talking about firing up the stove if we're talking about sushi? I have no idea. Nick, tell us what's we're going gonna on. We're going to find out all. Uh, Lou Valenti is here. Good to see you, Lou. Hi. Congratulations Nick. on your uh, new restaurant. Uh, again, Thank it's you. Uh, called Sushi on the River. It's the, uh, the place that used to be... The jam and salmon. The jam and right? salmon, exactly. Well, it's good to see you, and I know you're not too far from my little place in Atoma, so I'm gonna have to get out there. So we're gonna see you weekly. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna try to come by. That's for sure, because I, you know, sushi is one of those things that growing up on the East Coast didn't really eat a lot of it. They had sushi Me restaurants, neither. but it wasn't you too, right? Yeah. Okay, so now I come to California, and I love fish. So now, you know, they take me out to sushi places all the time. I cool. love it. What do you want to make today? You're making two different we're dishes, We're going to do right? two things, yeah. We're going to do first, uh, actually, a Hawaiian-style dish, uh, which is pokey. So we're going to start with uh, bluefin tuna here, and we're going to do, like, a large dice on this. Now, tuna is um, its just one of those things that has great flavor, raw, cooked, really doesn't matter, but... How long exactly. Have you guys, how long this, have you guys been, we've been uh, open for two months. Two months. Yeah, we are uh, rock and roll sushi bar, so we do play loud music. Uh, the customers are are having a great time, In and fact, we're, while we're you're having this, a great time. While you're cutting this tune up, let's show some pictures that we uh, look at that boy. You did it up real nice, huh? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Sushi on the river, and uh, I know it's uh, in the Natomas area. Everybody's talking about it. You got a lot of new customers there too. They're building a lot of new homes there. They're so. building, I think, 5,000 new homes yep. across the street. And, that's good. Uh, we need some more restaurants out there, that's for sure. It's a lot of fun. Have you been? My friends. <laughs> I, I don't get out much, but my friends say. Mark's, uh, Mark's sources tell them. Again, so this is on the So you go past the Chevys, you go past Virgin Sturgeon, and it's... Yes, uh, it's on the left side, left side, in, the, side. in the Riverview Marina. Because I know with exactly. Jam and Salmon, a lot of people say, well, I, I can never find it, I can never find it. But it's there, you just got to look for it. It's yeah. the last restaurant on the left-hand side off the Garden Highway. Yes, exactly. Okay. So we have tuna and wakame, which is a Japanese seaweed salad, a little bit of sambal, which is a Chinese that? chili paste. Chinese chili paste, right? okay. Right, into the bowl with the tuna. Mix and it up. And we're going to put some scallions. Ooh. Like this. I love and the then way we're they gonna toss this. Love the way they put sushi together. I mean, I never really knew how it was done until you actually see it up close. Yeah. Well, this isn't really sushi, but so we're gonna toss well, this up yeah. like this. Kind of. Was, would this be an appetizer? This is uh, on our salads list. Okay. So everything on the menu is kind of an appetizer portion. We tried to gear it so that uh, people can come in and, and share right. lots of different things. Look at this. So we take this. You almost put it in a uh, kind of a big wine glass. We though. put it in a wine glass, exactly. Is it hard to get good sushi chefs? Because I know they have to good, do training. Good sushi chefs are almost impossible to, to find. By, right? I actually stole my other chef, Tim, from the restaurant I was working at in San Francisco. So. You say borrowed. Yeah, stole. okay. Okay. Stole such a... <laughs> apprehended. <laughs> yeah, apprehended. Exactly. So this looks this great. In. Oh, and I can just this? smell it. Flavor. I have to try can some. You of smell this. the, the <gasps> sesame oil. Yeah, smells great. Like that's that. called what again? This is called Hawaiian pokey style tuna. Look at that. All right. Like this. That'll be a nice little appetizer. And we'll garnish it with some tobiko. Like that. Terrific. Look at that. A plus, my man. Okay. So why don't we next, start on dish number two? Next, I'm going to so, do yeah. our most popular roll right now. Start out with some seaweed. Wet your hands so the rice doesn't stick. This is always the hardest part, I think, probably, right? Trying to get yeah, this to go Yeah, exactly. Because it's, it's such a small surface area you're working with. Plus the rice is fairly sticky. Here you go. And you guys have some uh, some good, oh, oh, excellent. You have some good parking uh, on the river, right, too? We have a huge For parking boats lot. Boats and cars, actually. obviously. Yeah, we, you can bring your boat. Well, you can... Uh, Park your car, we have a huge parking lot. Is this like one of those party sushi places where you jump up on the counter and do a little dancing while you're making well, sushi? Well, I too? don't dance very much. I, I was born with no rhythm, so oh, okay. unfortunately. Oh, we didn't mean you. But, uh, Thanks for so exercising. This is, this is the uh, Sacramento roll. This is uh, cucumber and spicy crab. We roll it in rice. Oh, this is like good. this. You like the rice? I love it. I love it. Oh, good. I became a fan of sushi literally overnight. Because I just I love fish and it's great for you. Now we slice albacore on top of the roll. Mm. I love I love uh, tuna and salmon are my two favorite. Either one's fine. Do you have the um, what's the other? What's the other, like a do you have like a spicy tuna? Oh yeah, of course. Spicy tuna. Of okay. course. Then you take plastic wrap like this. 
You know, you could do this. We had somebody come on a few months ago and, and show us how you could do it at home, but isn't it much nicer when somebody else does it for I, you? <laughs> yeah, I never make sushi at home, so. Do you name any of your rolls after, like, regulars, like the Nick Toma roll? Could we well, get Well, I will do that. If you guys start coming in regularly, All I'll right. definitely All do right. that. That's All a right. promise. The rolls on the menu, some of them, the Markimoto roll, the Terra roll, are named after uh, ex-customers of mine, I guess. Ex-customers? Yeah. The Not Mark S. customers, but old customers. Oh, okay. The yeah. Mark Allen roll. I don't know. It just doesn't have a ring to it. It's something. Uh, Maybe the Oprah roll. <laughs> the Oprah the, roll. Really? Yeah. <laughs> the Oprah roll. What's okay, that? So you can get it large or small, just depending on your mood, <laughs> because of her fluctuating weight. Exactly. exactly. As seen, as seen in the Inquirer. So now we put the roll on, on like this. Of course, that's going to happen. Any relation to Jack Valente, the um, no. uh, motion picture guy? No relation. Probably a good thing. Then, last but not least, stand back, Nick. Uh oh. We are cooking Holy sushi. Cow. We really are. See, fire up the grill. He's oh, searing see? it. Uh oh. <laughs> right. Oh good. This, this brings you me, know you every know this... episode of The Simpsons oh, starts like this. <laughs> this. So we sear the uh, Sacramento roll on top like this. I had a horrific accident with a Bunsen burner when I was in ninth grade, so I'm standing back. I got a disconnected tie rod on my car. Is there a chance you can hook that up? <laughs> No problem. Look at that. So you just sear the top? Sear the top. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. It's like a work of art. That's the thing about it. You almost, you almost don't want to eat it because it looks so good. And then we garnish it with um, bonito flakes. Bonito flakes? Bonito flakes. This right. is dried, shaved bonito. Who does the shaving? Do you use like a double edge or a single edge razor? Yeah, uh, mock, <laughs> mock three, actually. The mock three. Yeah, and then we have a sweet sauce here. This is our secret sweet sauce. If I told mm. you, I'd have to kill you. No, you don't, want to, you don't want to tell us the secrets. Look at that. A work of art, ladies and gentlemen. And some scallions. Very nice. And last but not least, sesame seeds. A little sesame seed. Says who? Says me. Look at that. A work of art. And that's it. Sushi on the river, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. On the Garden Highway in the Natomas area. And uh, good luck with it. It's been, you. uh, you've been around for a couple months. We've been two months. And I hear it's business been, is it's good. been crazy busy. Yeah, every day. Excellent. Lunch, Luke, lunch and dinner, Tuesday, lunch Tuesday through Friday, close Monday. We're going to seriously hold you to this whole name in the sushi thing. We're going to oh, yeah, okay. go there. That's We're good. regular starting Perfect. today. Excellent. Perfect. Nice job. Appreciate you leaving some samples, too. No problem. You are going to leave those, right? Of course. Thanks, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be right back with much more when Good Day Sacramento continues after this.